do you think gut health is just about digestion think again your gut influences your immunity metabolism and even mental health but with so much misinformation out there how do you separate fact from fiction hey this is dr ketu i am a board certified gastroenterologist practicing in usa hit that follow button today i am going to bust 10 gut health myths that people still believe and ask me all the time when i see them in my clinic by the end of this video you will know exactly what's a fact and what is fiction So let's get started. Myth number 1, you must have a bowel movement every day. The fact is a daily bowel movement is not a requirement for good gut health. The normal range varies from 3 times a day to 3 times a week. What really matters is consistency and stool quality, not the number on the clock. Hard lumpy stools, you may be constipated. Loose or watery stools, it could be a sign of malabsorption or an underlying diarrhea issue. But if you have persistent changes in your bowel habits, you need to see a doctor. Irregular bowel habits can signal conditions like IBS, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or even colorectal cancer. The bottom line is If you feel fine and your bowel movements are consistent and you're good even if you don't go every day that's fine. Myth number 2. Elimination diets heal the gut. The fact is cutting out entire food groups like dairy, gluten or legumes without a medical reason that's like firing your entire gut microbiome workforce. It's a bad idea. Elimination diets are essential for conditions like celiac disease or lactose intolerance if you have them. But randomly eliminating foods will not heal your gut. I see a lot of patients who are on gluten-free diet without any reason. Unnecessary food restrictions can reduce microbial diversity, leading to nutrient deficiencies and worsened gut health. If you suspect food intolerances, work with a dietitian instead of following internet trends. Now myth number 3. Food sensitivity tests are accurate. The fact is at home Home food sensitivity tests claim to detect intolerances but here is the truth these tests measure IgG antibodies which indicate exposure not intolerance a high IgG result doesn't mean a food is causing symptoms it just means you eat it often think of IgG test like seeing an old receipt it tells you what you bought not whether it made you sick or not the gold standard for identifying food triggers is an elimination diet supervised by a professional myth number 4 stress causes ulcers stress gets blamed for a lot but not ulcers the real culprits are h pylori or helicobacter pylori infection and frequent NSAID use non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen or aspirin stress can worsen symptoms but doesn't directly cause ulcers if you have persistent stomach pain burning or nausea get tested ulcers can lead to serious complications if left untreated myth number 5 juice cleanses detox your gut your liver and kidneys already detox your body 24 hours 7 days a week no fancy juice required in fact juice cleanses often remove fiber which your gut microbiome needs to thrive fiber fermentation produces short chain fatty acids or SEFAs that reduce inflammation and support colon health want a real cleanse do the opposite actually don't drink juice but eat whole fruits vegetables and high fiber foods now myth number 6 colorectal cancer only affects older adults this used to be true but not anymore colorectal cancer is now a leading cause of cancer related deaths in adults under 50 waiting until 50 for your first screening that could be too late risk factors include low fiber diet processed foods and a sedentary lifestyle new guidelines recommend screening colonoscopy or screening procedure starting at the age 45 in USA if you have symptoms like blood in stool unexplained weight loss or persistent changes in bowel habits get it checked myth number 7 Nuts and popcorn cause diverticulitis. Doctors used to tell patients with diverticulitis to avoid nuts, seeds and popcorn. I used to say that too years ago, fearing they would get stuck in colon pockets. But research proves the opposite. These high fiber foods actually reduce the risk of diverticulitis by keeping stool soft and preventing pressure build up in the colon. No need to fear nuts and popcorn. Your gut loves fiber. Myth number 8. Lectins cause a leaky gut lectins a type of protein found in beans grains and vegetables are often 
demonized by diet trends which claim that they cause digestive issues, interfere with nutrient absorption or trigger autoimmune conditions. While raw or improperly cooked lectins can cause mild toxicity, cooking these foods properly removes most risks. For most people, lectins are not harmful and are part of a nutritious diet, making the negative claims about them exaggerated. Avoiding lectins means missing out on fiber, polyphenols and essential nutrients. A truly leaky gut results from inflammation, dysbiosis and chronic disease, not lectins. If lectins were really harmful, humanity would not have survived thousands of years eating beans and grains. Myth number 9. IBS is all in your head. Irritable bowel syndrome or IBS was historically dismissed as a psychological issue, but today we know it's a real disorder of the gut-brain axis. It involves altered gut motility, bacterial imbalances, and visceral hypersensitivity. Stress can worsen symptoms, but it's not the cause. Effective treatments include dietary changes, probiotics, and medications. If you have IBS, your symptoms are real, and so are the solutions. Now myth number 10. Probiotics work instantly. Probiotics don't offer overnight miracles. They take time and consistency. Different strains serve different purposes. Some aid digestion, others support immunity. They only work as long as you take them. If you stop them, their benefits fade. So what's the best way to support your gut long term? Feed it fiber and fermented foods like yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, Indian dosa, idli, all those. Did one of these gut myths surprise you? Or have you heard another gut health myth you want me to debunk? Drop your comments and your thoughts and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with someone who needs to hear it.